Hey guys. It may sound a little bit different. Because, <laughs> um... I just spent the entire day sleeping. <laughs> well, not sleeping, but like in my bed. Because, one, I ate a lot of bullshit that I, um, I'm not used to. And thus I was a little bit sick. And two, I just spent all fucking night and most of this morning uh, watching E3's presentations. And yeah. God. Where to start? Um. Who? <laughs> yeah, Crusade Kings 3 just turned into. What games do I like out of E3 so far? Um. One. Starfield. Pretty good. Also, I want to tell you about this theory that I have regarding um uh the oldest strokes. Um it's been explained uh well not explained, it's been um around for like a little while. Though I don't know where I um remember it. Maybe I made it up, I don't know. That, um, Bethesda's three, um, uh, like, main franchises, now it's going to be three, um, are part of a progression. There's, uh, there's the older, um, there's the, no, not, there's Fallout, then there's going to be Starfield. And then there's the Elder Scrolls. There's a theory floating around. You can probably search it somewhere. That somewhere it's somewhere out there that um Fallout, Starfield, and the Elder Scrolls are part of a um, linear progression. I mean, you can kind of see that anyway, because um. Fallout have death claws, right? Which evolve, well, mutated from uh, geckos, like tiny little geckos. And what did the Elder Scrolls have? A lizard race, but who are actually described as an amphibian race in the lore. And here's another um big um. Uh, proof that I think if you look at the Elder Scrolls' like um, map of Temriel and compare it to a hypothetical future supercontinent on the planet Earth they look remarkably similar just do the comparison and come back to me because I know, I know that's going to be, I know that my theory is going to be right, okay? I know it's going to be right. Two. Actually, what is number two? Yeah, I think, um, Sky, um, Starfield would, um, is basically my, the only one that I actually, yeah, was actually excited for. There's, like, a few outliers. There's, um, I should have had a fucking list up. There's Replacer. That looks bloody cool. There's... Um, UDS Montreal making a Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, action-adventure game. That looks interesting. Plus, they learned from Marvel's Avengers that we don't want always online bullshit, which is good. 
Um, and um, Age of Empires 4 looks pretty cool. I don't, um, I didn't actually, um, play Age of Empires that much. That was my brother. My brother's a big fan of Age of Empires. My jam was Age of Mythology. Microsoft, if you're watching, I need me a remaster of Age of Mythology, please. <laughs> or a sequel, one of those. Come on. You know you want to. Go on. Anyway, um, there was another one that I thought, oh yeah, Outer Worlds 2. Even though, uh, I didn't really like, uh, the way they, they handled, um, uh, the first Outer Worlds. I felt like that, um, the morality in that game was a little bit too black and white. Like, it's... It just basically boils down to corporation bad. Yes, we know this game. We live in 2021. You don't need to tell us that. <laughs> Capitalism bad. Yeah, no shit. Um. <laughs> uh. And yeah, <laughs> it's just really. Yeah, I. It's good. It will be good to see, um, what the, uh, uh, Obsidian can do with some, like, real money behind it, though. It was hampered a little bit by its, um, like, f uh, constrained scope a little bit. Because Obsidian previously did, um, uh, Fallout New Vegas. In 18 months, by the way. They did, like, a whole Fallout game. 18 months. Holy crap. But yeah, I think those are my three um, main takeaways from the show so far. I mean, there is more show to come, but I don't really give a crap about most of it. I mean, Ubisoft's... <laughs> I promise I'm going to go get to the game in a little bit. I should have done like, my own video about this, but... Then what would I show? What would I show? Like, probably, I don't know. I should have thought about this, but no. There's a... Shut up. You know what, I'll play it. I'll play this game and just, um, talk while things happen. Um... Yeah, there's like a few, um... Ones that are coming. Take two, I think, is like, um... Uh, at about, uh, 3.30 at night for me. I'm definitely not going to touch that because it's, they're definitely not going to print, um, announce, uh, um, GTA 6. Council Invitation. I truly am the best candidate I have for my open council pos position. I am going to be the Chancellor. Bit rude that you refer to me as your chattering vassal, but fine. I'm on his council apparently. Yeah. Oh wait, that's me. Yeah, I forgot. Ooh, prestige plus three per month. Look at my prestige, man. Fourteen. Ooh, man. Anyway, I've got something to do with this. I can't remember what it is, though. I think it's under, st yeah, stewardship. I think after I, um, get the next perk... I'm gonna have to change my focus to, um, hmm, wait, is there, groom to rule, one to three extra steel points, thicker than water, first ooh, 
Oh wait, that's against family members. Never mind. My friend relations gives me two grand with skill points. Which live in child with diplomat. Opinion games and gift. Dochu conquest. What's the Dochu conquest? Interesting. Force vassalage. Force vassalization. Accomplish forger. Fabricate claim on county speed. Mm. Foreign affairs effectiveness. Show the truth is no prestige penalty for breaking them. Propose one alliance without a marriage. That's good. Each alliance drives plus one. Shipership and diplomat. And again, the train diplomat. Independent ruler opinion plus 20, plus extreme power plus 25%. Hmm. Pin game for sending diff for select this point. Wait. Fabricate claim. Embassies. Wait, where was it? Hmm. I feel like there was a perk that. Yeah. Schemer. Kidnapper. Because, like, I did this for a reason. I integrated myself into the Byzantine Empire for a reason. And that reason is to usurp his fucking title. So, I need a plan. My original plan was to go over to Stewardship. An administrator to go to meritocracy, which I can use claim thrown against my leech. I still find it weird that um this is under stewardship, but yeah. Anyway, after my um yeah, I'm gonna switch o after my perk. I'm gonna switch over to. Yeah, because I don't think there's any good... I mean, there's might be some good... Yeah, Foreign Affairs and Fetimness plus 25%. And Diplomat gives me... Uh, plus 25% uh, personal scheme power on top of Adapted Traditions. Wait. Foreign Affairs and Fetimness. Or Counselor Tasks performed by the Chancellor. For a vessel, it increases the opinion of other vessels have of the same liege has of them. Hmm. Because I've read about this online, okay? There's like the quick way you can do, which is just meritocracy, claim throw, and just claim throw. And just do that kind of thing. Or there's a long way. You can go just diplomacy and just like, um... Gradually, like, influence your other vassals to, like, plot against you. I mean, get them to plot against you. Because you can, I believe, just, like, go, Hey, I'm going to plot this against you, and... Oh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I might have to do that. I might have to adopt his faith. Yeah. Convert. How many? Cuneo Tuscany truly does. Verona won't. Capua won't. Corsica won't. Nice won't. Kona won't. Uh, Daka won't. Lyca won't. Mordlu won't in Cremona and fold queer. I don't have okay, yeah. So I can't do that until thing. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I can just do that whenever. 
Sought claimant faction. I can do that whenever. Yeah. So, I think I might go down the actual, um, uh, the long route. So now that I'm part of the Byzantine Empire and made it expand relatively largely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I presumably can go to war against uh, their vassals in here. Like, I can just, like, go to war against... <laughs> like, look at this mess. Look at this mess! Like, this one's owned by here. Kalidia, that's, like, over fucking there. Benevedio, is that, that, that's actually the right one. Then if anybody owns these two fucking bits. Thessia owns this bit. Hellas owns this bit. And that bit. Like, what the hell? I really need to... And Thessaly owns this bit. And Sicily owns that. How does... Oh, okay, Sicily. That might... That kind of makes sense. But Hellas owning this bit of Africa? Fuck no. Shut the fuck up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, like, conquer, like, unite the peninsula. But this time, under the protection of Big Daddy Purple. <laughs> and hopefully just buy my time until, you know... Um, everything happens. So, yeah, I think first we will, um, well, I kind of want to, um, like, at least unite a couple of, um, like, little bits of my empire, right? Because I want to, I want to unify at least this bit with, with my main body, okay? Okay. Actually, there's a few bits I wanna I wanna do with that. Cause like Romaine is like super weak right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's 1100 with me. I'm, well, I'm growing, but I think I may need to um downgrade a lot of my armies. Cause wait. Oh, they're attacking Romaine right now. Huh. Oh, it's only two days ago. Dude. So what do they want? They want... Oh, wow. They want all of that. You know what? I'm going to offer to join his war. Because... Romaine has been a thorn in my side for all ages, so I'm going to off to join the war. I mean, it's probably a bad idea, but... Meeting Casentino. I do need some money though. Can ransom this person.
my daughter Victoria. Between two hundred. Come on. Come on. We got the numerical advantage. This should go well. Okay. Fine. The right to rule Provence belongs to Countess Aina Folloque. You mean the Duchy Provence, which is... Yeah, that's that whole bit. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. You can rule that. Do you become independent, or do you... Oh, you, um, you quite, yeah, you apparently become a vassal under the Basileus independently. Yeah, I'm not sure I will. Do that. See, why the fuck do they have such a... I'm really tired of this happening. I don't know if I like suck at the game or what, but <sighs> you know what? I'm I'm starting to I guess I I I think I just suck at the game. Like I always have just like massive amounts of fucking revolts like Yeah. Like, I'm, like, <sighs> I might think about, like, uh, I might think about, yeah, I think I might put a pin in this. It's like, evidently, I was, I'm a bit too, I was a bit too ambitious. I'm starting to realize my limitations in this. I think this might be the end of the series. I just I understand that these games aren't meant to be like a definite win. These games aren't there for like a definite win state. But like 
basically all my um all this game has been just like putting down rebellion after rebellion after rebellion and by the time I like reunite all of the empire it just rebels again and I'm just like that isn't entertaining like I don't think that's entertaining do you guys like seeing me just like being frustrated and just confused like like look at this look at this look why the fuck does like a rebellion of mine of duchy this place have less troops oh yeah have less troops on the roll than I do and I feel like the AI is fucking cheating because they always, I mean, maybe it's not cheating, but they always, they always, 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 like, wait for a time when I'm actually at war so I don't get, so like, I can't like, do anything. But like, accept it. <laughs> And I like, I feel like, yeah, this is the, this is the end. This is going to be the end. I'm going to think about this. I like, come back. I'm sorry that this, this is, ba this um, part basically has no gameplay and I'm sorry about that. But one, I just got distracted with talking about, about E3. And I... I'm just... This game isn't fun. Like... I bought this game for the stories that it creates. But, I is it... Like... Like... I want my stories to like, um... Like, actually have like, uh... A beginning when you're small and an end when you're large but I just can't seem to get out of like the unification stage like I always seem to have rebellions I always do and like it's exhausting man so yeah I know this isn't what you want to hear but yeah For the last time in Crusader Kings 3, at least for the moment, I've been Purist, signing off. I'll think about like where I want like something like this series to go, so it's not it's not gonna go away for long. Like, in fact, as I'm talking, I already have a um something in mind. That is like relevant for my abilities. <laughs> yeah, trying to reform the uh, um, Roman Empire, not using the two um, ways that the game actually gives you. Pretty ambitious, and I I, I think I just suck at the game. So yeah, again for the last time I have been Purist, signing off on Crusader Kings 3.